After visiting with a pair of Hall of Fame football coaches for his first two installments of Coach Couch Conversations, Sports Director Adam Winkler has gone from the gridiron to the diamond. Here's Wink with one of Major League Baseball's most sought after coaches. As the spread of COVID-19 has altered the sports landscape, it's also impacted our access for interviews. So as we navigate these unfamiliar times, we turn to a very familiar setting, the couch. We will be interviewing coaches, former and current, from right here, my living room. We're calling it Coach Couch Conversations. Today we visit with Tampa Bay Rays bench coach Matt Quattraro. The ODU Sports Hall of Famer has been coaching in the professional ranks since 2004 after his playing career ended. Now, due to COVID-19, he's spending spring at home for the first time since 1993, back when he played for the Schenectady Mohawks in the New York Collegiate Baseball League. I imagine that summer at home in uh, playing for Schenectady, uh, a little bit different than having a wife and in, uh, in a three-year-old and a five-year-old, huh? Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, I, you can say that. Um, you know, we, we really have been very lucky during this because the weather's been perfect. The kids have been able to swim, and so we keep them active. You've got some other guys with some deep 757 ties. Obviously, Ryan Yarborough, another uh, former ODU Monarch, and also Brandon Lau, uh, one of our own from here in Suffolk. I'm very proud of the fact that Yarbs is on the team and it's cool to see ODU alum make it to the big leagues whenever that does happen. Brandon Lau is just really burst onto the scene as a, a guy that really wasn't a high pick, you know, that wasn't really somebody that was destined to make it, but has just really worked so hard and become a great player all around. It seems like whenever there is a managerial opening, your name is associated with it. Is it a distraction to have to have dorks like me keep asking you about it? Or is it maybe a, a flattering process because you know you are close to being a big league manager, something that I imagine is, is a goal of yours? Well, it's absolutely flattering. And, and to get the opportunity to go through that process for the first couple times this year was, was very eye-opening and, and that preparation started without me knowing it years and years ago, you know, being with Pat McMahon and Tim Parenton and, and Tony Guzzo and those guys at, at Old Dominion. I started learning from some great baseball people. And so if I continue to get those opportunities, I would welcome them. I'm never working at a job for the next job. 